What is up everyone? Welcome back to episode two of our three. garden. It's not three. It is three. <laughs> episode three. If you haven't seen the first two, so far we have ripped out our garden and got it ready to be given a fresh new lease of life. We've designed it. Now in this one we are going to completely redo the pathway to the shed with right, sleepers, Fab, Fab goes flowers. Around, Fab's going completely around the bush. We've completely... The we have completed the first part of the, yeah. the garden yeah, um, so the renovation, enjoy. but Fab's going to shut up now because otherwise it's going to spoil the whole video for you. So, so what we're going to... <laughs> so first job was to cut the angles on the sleepers and my brother did it all by hand and refused the help so he was knackered by the end of it. Oh, and you may be wondering why he looks like this. Well, we'll come back to that in a second. Next job was to get up this massive root from the old ivy. Look at the size of this, roots for days. Then we secured the sleepers together and for the longest part, which had two joined together, we used a bit of batten to secure them. Now back to why my brother looks like this. Well, he's been helping me with my home office build and just before we started the garden, he'd been grinding out all of the old cement from the wall so that we could repoint it in original line. It was an extremely dusty job, but one that's gonna be very worth it and make this room look incredible. And whilst he was doing that, I corked up some of the drawings on the joinery. But anyway, I think it's time for an update on what we've actually done in the office so far. We're in the office. Let's give you an update because it has been a while now. My plan for this, right, was to make a video when the office was finished. It was meant to be finished by now, but there have been lots of moving parts, which means it, it isn't finished, as you can see, but there is a big change. So let me show you what we've done. First off, you can probably notice straight away, the glass is gone in the ceiling and we are now left with one skylight, which is a lovely new piece of glass. We've boxed all this in. This is to be painted white. We have also got down lighting, which is not secured yet. If I flick this on, you can see we have got some down lighting. We have also started priming the walls. Only one coat so far, and I've been sampling some colors. I think I'm gonna go with black, a nice dark office, and then complement it with lots of other things. Let me give you a quick whip round of my ideas, and then we're gonna set up my new desk and chair because I basically, I got rid of my old one and now I have nowhere to work. It's very dusty, as you can see. That is from the work that me and my brother did, repointing this, which is not done yet. That will be done soon, but we need a big industrial hoover. This section here is actually gonna have wood panels all along it, like we've got in the kitchen, but this is gonna be where my desk goes because there is already power here. Here, is gonna be the coffee corner. This is arguably the most exciting thing for me in this office. What I'm gonna do with this worktop is we're actually gonna make it like two times or three times as thick. And I'm gonna put some resin over the OSB board and have keep this texture, but make it shiny. I'll pop up a photo of how that style would look. But essentially that's gonna look sick. The rest will be black. Manual coffee machine and everything will go on here. I'm thinking I'm gonna tile from here and tie all this square like you would typically see in a coffee shop. I'm not sure on the color yet, but I'm definitely gonna tie it. I just think that'll look really cool. I've also got something very exciting planned for the bottom section here, but we'll wait for that and I'll reveal it when the office is done. And then here is where I'm gonna have a charging station. There'll be like a pegboard on the wall. There'll be like storage and just a place that I can charge all of my camera gear. And then yeah, lots of decorative stuff, obviously. I'm gonna do LED lighting running along here and in this little corner here I'm gonna put shelving and then flooring wise I am going to I don't know I will get something sorted for that but either like a light laminate flooring or something I'm, I'm quite undecided on that yet but we'll see but now it is time to build some exciting packages that we've got from flexi spot we have got my new desk and we have got a sofa armchair thing Right, we are plugged in, ready to go. Let's get this off there, the moment of truth. Are we ready? Oh yeah! I am so happy with my choice. That wood looks incredible. Elle has just come back. 
and she's bought me a rose and round ball. Thanks, man. Have you seen the sleepers outside? Me and my brother just finished them. He put an absolute shift in soaring. He wouldn't let me do it because I tried to do one and it was like not straight. Right, back to the garden. Time to dig out the trenches for these sleepers, or as Ellen called them. I'm digging a crevice. Crevice. Hey guys! We're trying to get it level to the other one. Still struggling here a little bit. <laughs> Snack time, guys. We realized that we forgot to do one sleeper along the front here to create our flower bed so we've marked it up and now I'm gonna cut it so fingers crossed Christ that's so off so Fab's brother cut all of these um, and Fab has just cut this one and he says to record it because he doesn't think I've messed it up well, if this goes in there, nice, then it's a miracle. Also, our kids are absolutely covered in mud and running around in their nappies. It's like they're cave children, it's hilarious. Hang on, hang on. Oh my gosh. No way. What? It's gonna go, it's, it's gonna, gonna go. go. It's it is gonna go. Right. It's gonna go. What do you mean it's gonna go? It's gonna go, Beans, go. No, shut up. I told Not you. As, but look, I've messed the angle up. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. It does matter. No, that doesn't matter. No, fuck. No, I'll have to get a bit of wood to cut oh, to go in shut there. up. That, no, that's going to bug me. Shut Big time, baby, unless I can knock this. How did your brother join those together, by the way? With a screw. You no, do. Noah, Noah, no, 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 no. Not in the bush. I'm just going to show you Noah's face, right? That's mud. This is how we are looking. Aside from that little mishap, I'm actually really, really pleased with how this looks. If we come around here, obviously we need to level all the soil out over there and we need to put new stones here, but buzzing with the shape of it looks so much better. We packed up the tools for the day and ordered ourselves a Nando's as a reward. So it's day one, done. What a product. Wow, yeah, we're vlogging. What a productive day. We've got a Nando's to finish the day. Has anyone tried the new Nando's wrap? I don't know what it's called, but it's pulled chicken. It's incredible. Can I have a bite? Yes. No, not that much. Are you serious? You've got the wrap. Oh. Oopsie. Oopsie. L gave the boys breakfast while I packed our things into the car and we headed off to the garden centre to pick up our flowers. Oh, and if you're wondering what every car journey sounds like at the moment, it's this. Wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. Wheels on the bus go round and round, all day. We're at the garden centre now. They've actually agreed to open the garden centre um, and let us in early just so we can film and stuff. So that's good. No, you've parked so far forward. Have I? Why do you, why do you, Fab no, right, when he goes into a park, up, car, a park, park parking up. space, <laughs> he puts his foot on the accelerator. So like you drive in really fast. Well, how else am I meant to go forward? Um, yeah, we're going to meet Matt now and he is going to come around with us before the garden centre's open, which is what? I can't, well, none of us can speak. You know what we're trying to say. <laughs> Guys, we completely forgot that we've got a flat tire on the pram. <laughs> so it's like jiggling around. Not ideal. And we were debating whether to bring the pram anyway because of trying to fit everything in the car. No. And it's a complete waste of time anyway. Mind it's got you. a flat tire. 
if yeah. we let them walk around here, they would have destroyed the flowers. Yeah. Right, we are in the garden centre now. We just spoke to the team. They gave us the gift voucher and we are now walking around. We're going to go around on our own because we actually learned so much from the last time that they spoke to us and told us what would work well in our garden. So we're going to try and get things ourselves and then go back to Matt for advice if we need it. How cool is it being in here when it's empty? It's actually really peaceful being in here. It's not open yet. We started off by picking evergreen plants that would fill out the base of the flower bed. We did pick up this grass which had a funny name. Ponytails they're called. <laughs> but then we decided to put it back and get these bush balls as we call them. Look at all the outdoor furniture here. They're actually giving us one of the, I think it's this one or that one, one of them egg chair so we're absolutely buzzing for that aren't we yeah. get an egg chair out there that's gonna be so good right is that our greenery done now yeah. no you don't fancy a couple of these in the no right we definitely want lavender don't we yeah and one yeah. thing we learned last week was that they told us to look at the height and to also look at the width to see how big that they will grow to oh that's pretty isn't it i know that's it's really pretty done, okay let's get that one we okay, we decided to change to this type of lavender instead. Does it flower though? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Snacks are out for the boys. Snacks are crucial. And we've had to whip out Blippi because they're getting fed up in the pram. Now it's time to get some colorful flowers. The fun bit. <laughs> We're looking at the climbing roses now for going up the fence. We we're gonna get a few of these, weren't we? Yeah. We've got absolutely loads of choice here. Oh, there's more over there. Oh, they are cheeky. Smell that pink one, that dark pink one. This one. It smells like a Turkish delight. What? It smells delicious, yeah. It smells so nice. Yeah, they're a little bit more expensive, but I do think it's worth it for that smile. We're just having a hand picking out one that's a good one. And we've been told that this one here is a good one. So I think we're going to get this one here. And then this one has also been chosen. Look how many flowers are on this one. Right, we're braving it, guys. The cramped twins are out and about. Noah, where's the frog? There he is. Hello, froggy. Oh. <laughs> Good singing, ba ba black sheep. Hello, ba ba. <laughs> Are you waving to all the animals? Ah, look, there's a little bee there. <laughs> Little flower pot. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? Ah, 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 ah. Quick! I don't know what he is. Okay. Wow, what's mummy got you? <laughs> They've got no sugars. Huh? It's no sugar. Okay. Sugar. Right, we've got some breakfast. We're all on the fry ups. Noah's on the sausage straight away. <laughs> How good is the bacon? Mm. Have you tried the bacon? Mm. The kids' area here is so cool. And Ari just spotted the tractor. <laughs> he is, isn't he? Absolutely. Should we get him one? You've been good boys, so you can have a tractor. It's a bit chaotic here, but we've got to try and get everything in the car now. Matt, do you reckon we can do it? I reckon there's a plan there somewhere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you causing havoc in the car? Pull tight, okay. <laughs> this is manic. They look so cute when they sleep. <clears throat> they look so 
so peaceful. So the boys have fallen asleep on the way home from the garden centre. So we're going to have to do, try and do a transfer from the car seats to the cots and just cross our fingers and hope to the high heavens that they sleep because me and Fab have actually got loads to do while well, they nap. Got back home, put the boys to bed and eagerly unloaded the car. Hey. Okay, so we're back home now. One out of two of the boys is asleep, but Irish is playing with his little projector light thing that he's got in his bedroom. He normally does that and then goes back to sleep. So um, we thought we would show you quickly what we got because we actually got quite a lot, guys. I'm and Fab's shocked that we got David Austin roses. Yeah, I know. She's showing you. Mate, the, the pot looks nice. I want to keep the pot. <laughs> By the way, we just crept and got changed like the most quietest we've ever done, wasn't it? <laughs> You're like teenagers sneaking out in the night. <laughs> um, by the way, mum and dad never used to do that. But yeah, let's show you what we got. So this area is going to be like a really nice smelling area because we've got lavender and roses. Yes. We've got two of these. These were actually in the sale. So these were like £9 each. Yes. Obviously they're quite big, so that was great. This is what they are called. Namiza. I mean, I'm, I apologise in advance for the butchering of these names. And then we've got two of these. We got these purely because of the colour. Impe Impotent. Imp imp impotent. Impotent. <laughs> these were five pound. Then we wanted to get some like like things that would stay green all year round. So after speaking with the guys there, we got some. <laughs> No, Do I'm not joking. put that in. <laughs> Why? It's a joke. That's it's clearly a joke. It's a joke. Some of these. Um, Buxus, <laughs> they're called. Buxton. Bux. We've got three of those. And, a, and three of these, which these yeah. were cheap as well. Wow, six grow. quid. Then we've got this type of lavender here, which yes. is lavandula. Yeah, well Lavandula. said. Well said. Then None of them have flowered yet, by the way. This one has. We've got some of these. Oh, which it is smells incredible. Lavand Lavandula. And hid coat. Got these, which are called hydrangeas. They're and these, beautiful. When they bloom, are going to be blue, blue, purple. Yeah. Um, so they're going to look absolutely beautiful. Then two of those more bush balls. Yeah. And then these are David Austin roses. Bougie, hashtag bougie. <laughs> look at the pot. Look at the pot. Isn't that just but sick? These were also had ten percent off, so they were like twenty nine pound. I don't know. I'm not a rose connoisseur, right? But I think that's a pretty good price for a rose bush. I have no I idea. You've got rose bushes for people for like fiftieth birthdays and stuff. Really? They're quite expensive. Oh. oh. And then we've got this. Yeah. Which is going to go like in the middle. This is going to be like our centerpiece. So when it grows, obviously it's like going to be a bit bigger and then yeah. all of the others around the side. Another one of those. And then another one of those pink ones. <laughs> They're well cute. They're so cute. The boys picked them up, didn't yeah. they? I have no idea where they're going to go when the boys aren't going to try and DDT them. Um, and then we also got these for the boys as well. Yeah. Before we plant these, a massive thank you to the garden centre, the old railway line. We'll put all their info in the description. And if you click on that link, it'll take you through to everything that we've got. So if you want to get the same plants anywhere in the UK, you can order it for delivery. Yeah. Or if you're anywhere near Wales, I would highly recommend. Anywhere near Wales? Yeah, that's where they are. South Wales. South Wales, Wales is quite a big yeah, that's place true. to be. If you're anywhere near where they are, I would highly recommend going yeah. because it's such a cool experience, yeah, isn't it? It is. It's a they've really got, nice garden centre. Yeah, they've got the cafe, they've got like a farm shop, they've got the outdoor area, indoor area. It's absolutely huge. Yeah. And I am biased because I used to work there and all the staff are lovely. Definitely check them out and go and let us know what you pick up as well. We'd love to see what you get. Oh, and we also got an egg chair, which I am very excited about because I've always wanted one of them. But we also got some of this fish blood and bone, which does not sound very nice at all, but it's for like when you plant it, it apparently helps with the roots. So it's just a general thing. Right, what should we do first? I think it's fair to say we got the perfect amount of flowers for this spot. There's a lot of concrete under here, so instead of putting flowers or plants, we might get some more climbers to go up here, but we're gonna get like solar powered lights to put either in the soil or to put 
drill them into the sleeper. So let us know if you guys know of any good bright solar panels that we can put here along the shed. Maybe we'll do like some along there, some along there. That'd be really cool. So cool. Look at him, he's such a good lad. He'll just sit here and play. He's turned his bubble machine on whilst we're doing work in the corner. You're a good boy, aren't you, playing with your diggers? So we forgot to get the hooks for the fencing for this, but we will get these. And you just hook them in, put wire, and then train this to follow it up. So it should go all the way up here. That's gonna look beautiful. Oh no, can Blippi kickflip yet or not? Right, final one going in, guys. Oh my God, how much? Is that too much? A handful. Is, it, what, is that what it says? <laughs> Ari, to, not in your mouth. Not in your mouth. Do you want to help Daddy do this one? Ari. Should Ari plant this one? Ready, Ari, hold it. Put it in here, put it in the hole. Good yeah, boy. good boy. It's still got the label in. This. Smell it. Can you smell it? <laughs> there we go. That is all of these planted. I'll show it you now. Hopefully successfully. We need to put some bark or mulch or something around the flowers to try and slow the weeds. The next big thing to do here is the path. We've only got two packs of stones, so we definitely need more. It's going to be enough. Yeah, I know, it was if I thought two packs was gonna be enough. Look what mummy's gonna do now. Look, look. Why is it so gross? I hate the thin of my arms. Yeah. Wow, that's how far two bags got us. So Fab's gone to the gym and I am gonna now make the egg chair. Right, I've made it guys. That was pre pretty easy to make. King Ari is testing it out for me. Didn't realize that it came with these cushions as well. These are super comfy. Day two started with a push on the egg chair and then quickly onto a tantrum at B&Q because they're obsessed with this lawnmower and didn't want to leave. Oh, to name those stones out. Huh? Is that how we get them in the car? What's they, what are they called? <laughs> B and Q didn't have what we needed, so we're at this Cotswold bath place. Bit weird. Day three, we have now gone and picked up the stones, as you would have seen, and we are going to put them on the path. So this is going to be very satisfying. Oh, and Noah is rubbing mud into his hair. Oh, you give them an inch. Oh my word. Maybe getting stones was a terrible idea. Looks so much better, doesn't it? Ow. Mama go. <laughs> this is what this. Oh gosh. This is what this bit looks like now. This is just like a little inside. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it looks so much more like modern and pristine now. Yeah. Are you happy? Buzzing. We just need potentially some bark to go along the flowers. No, no bark. No, but it's to stop the weed and stuff. And it'll stop them flinging mud everywhere. They'll just fling the bark. Yeah, I guess. 
But yeah, Mike, we need to get the rosin thing to go up there. Yeah, we do. They are drooping like already. And lighting. So let us know, like I said, if you know any solar powered good lights. And everyone thinks I'm vlogging too loud. Yeah, you are. Loud. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Stop. Or right, outro, outro. Oh. Right, and because Fab doesn't know how to stop speaking, I'm going to outro the video. No, let us know what you think of that transformation. <laughs> yeah, that is that is a sign of things to come. Yeah. This garden is going to look completely different when we have finished it. What we got next? The fence? The fence and, and the then sleepers. the other, yeah, and yeah. potentially the children's play area. We're going to have a full-blown... Well, not full bloom. We're just gonna have a. We're just nah, gonna have gonna an be area sick. where the kids play. It's gonna be sick. But um, if it needs to stop raining, it's been raining for like yeah. three weeks straight. We've come so. to a halt, really, with it. But. Yeah, but we'll progress soon. If you've enjoyed this, hit a thumbs up right on Ellen's nose and subscribe if you're new. We're still trying to get to fifty thousand right? likes. <laughs> we're still trying. We might be still trying in five years. <laughs> but if you've enjoyed, subscribe, and we'll see you when it stops raining. <laughs> Bye.